Hey everyone, this is Dana from NextGen on this fabulous Freedom Fitness Friday. We are now in week 29 of my fitness journey. Last week I talked about cardiovascular exercise. So this week we're gonna talk about stretch exercises. Now I do about five stretch exercises two to three times a day. And the five are hamstring, quadricep, lower calf, upper calf, and middle and lower back stretch. Now all the stretches with the exception of the lower and back stretches, um, I will be in a standing position. I'll st and also I'll use a chair for all five. So what I'll start with is the hamstring stretch. So what you'll do is you'll stand with one foot propped up on a step or a chair, as I said before, in front of you and your legs are straight and you'll place your hands on your hips and this is just to make sure you're stable. And then you'll keep the leg that is lifted straight and slowly bend your torso towards your toes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand, put one foot on top of the chair and then you're gonna slowly bend your torso towards your toes and you're keeping your back straight until you feel a stretch in the back of your legs and that's your hamstrings. Then you'll breathe slowly as you stay in the stretch. Hold it for five seconds. Now please, no bouncing. Relax for another five seconds and then repeat each leg three to five times. Okay, so on the quadricep stretch, you're gonna stand holding the back of the chair with your left hand. I'm left-handed, so it's okay. So you're gonna bend your right knee behind you and grab your right ankle with your right hand. Then you bring your heel towards your buttocks until you feel a little tension in your thigh. Keep the knee and the other leg slightly bent. You don't wanna lock your knees. Okay, both knees should be parallel. Breathe evenly and stay in the stretch. Hold for five seconds, then relax for five seconds, and then continue this way um, for three or four stretches. And then of course, you're gonna repeat it on the other side because we don't want you to be lopsided. Okay, so for the upper calf stretch, you're gonna stand holding the back of the chair again with your left hand, because I'm left-handed, while placing the other hand on your right hip. Then you're gonna bend your left leg about 45 degrees and bring your right leg straight behind you about three feet and then place the heel on the floor. So you're gonna bend your left knee and it should be right above your left foot, not in front of it. If you don't feel a stretch in your right leg, bring the left leg forward a little more. Do not arch your back. Breathe evenly as you stay in the stretch. Hold for five, five seconds. Relax for five seconds. Repeat two or more times. Then switch legs and repeat. Okay, that's for the upper calf stretch. Now for the lower calf stretch, again, we're gonna be in the standing position and you're gonna hold onto the back of your chair with your left hand. Place your right hand on your hip and slide your right leg behind you about two feet, keeping the heel on the ground. Bend both knees and slowly lower your hips toward the floor, keeping both heels on the ground. You should feel um, some gentle te tension on the lower calf on your back leg. That's why we're stretching it. Breathe evenly as you stay in the stretch. Hold for five seconds. Relax for five seconds, repeat two more times, and then switch sides. Okay, that's for the lower calf stretch. And for the final um, stretch, it's the middle and lower back. And of course, this will you'll be seated in the chair. So the other ones were in the standing position. This one, you'll be in the seated position. And you'll um, sit, sit in the chair with your knees apart and you'll hold your arms in front of you and then stretch them forward. 
keeping them in this position and gradually bend your torso forward and allow your back to round until you feel a gentle tension in your upper and or middle back. At this point, your arms may feel you, um, your arms may be between your knees and the hand touching the floor if possible. Now I've had to do this a few times so I can actually touch the floor now. And breathe evenly as you stay in the stretch. Hold the stretch for five seconds, relax for five seconds, and then repeat two more times. Again, these are stretching stretches, so you do not want to bounce. You want to slowly move into the exercises. So that are those are the stretches that I do um, two to three times a day. So hopefully you've got a lot out of this. Um, I will have some more information in the description below. So thank you for being with me on my fitness journey. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.